Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is just about the plantain. I know if you are a long-term subscriber of my channel, uh, this is uh, yeah, this is officially my first video in English. The reason why I do so is just because I heard the voice from YouTube subscribers. Uh, they are just really curious of my planting experience, especially for the variegated monstrous. However, they can't understand much Chinese. So they just ask me if I could make some video in English. So, well, you asked, I heard it. All right, so uh, let's start. So today's video is just want to share my exciting and happy experience of this little guy over here. So here I got two little pot of monstaras. They both are just young age. As you can tell, the leaf is really just in the palm size and they hasn't developed any hope in the middle yet. Uh, however, well, I just watered them last night, so it's still quite wet. Um, so here we go. I move closer as you can see. You see it, right? How dedicated is so pretty, this little one over here. I think from the color, it's a pure white. I can show you the back. It's here it's quite strong. I know the, the whole steam looks still same but it's the leaf itself is quite strong you look here the baby leaf is so so cute so dedicated i noticed this baby leaf since last night and it's so exciting because that's the moment i feel like oh it it didn't die it's still alive and still grow it's just uh, eventually it could got some leaf coming out because for this little guy it came to my house I don't know, it's pretty much around March of this year. And after it come to my house, it's just so quiet. I can still say the root is still developing. However, the leaf was just always like that. So this little guy, as you can see, is a top cutting from a mother plant, but it's just from the size. Actually, I think the mother plant is still at its young age. Uh, and uh, before it's come to my, house is actually uh, been sold to different owners twice and been cut twice just in uh, half a year so the baby plant one is really come to my house i can see the rotten leaves here and rotten leaves here so it's quite stressful and quite upset say uh, from the back from the steam part there are actually a lot of scars and brown color i reckon it's been mailed uh, by post office because uh, so probably this one is from the other state other than victoria so the key reason i buy it is just because the color and also the first uh, sight i see it it's just so cute so small and it's just like a little puppy sitting there and expecting some extra care from somebody else so that time i just decided okay well better i just take you back home however to take it back to my house is actually a quite challenging decision i made it's not only because the background and also the you know the deprived experience it got the previous owner of this little plant uh, has a very dedicated greenhouse and in that greenhouse this little guy sitting there it's really just to stay in the central and it got its own growth light uh, i think it's 24 by 7 with a kind of a, like a purple color uh, growing light and also it got its own humidifier however when you look into my house i just uh, put all the plants to stay in the living room so it's winter in melbourne all the plant doesn't really have much light also in my house we use heater basically every day so it's a bit dry actually drier than the summer time i know it's a, been a bit challenge to all the plants in my house not only the depressed ones but also the normal ones uh, so that time yeah i just take it back when this one came to my house it's actually sitting in the perlite with water and fed with sesa every week however when it's to my house i've been struggled well and eventually after i done a lot of my research i decided to just put it into the soil instead of the water it's just because uh, a lot of articles saying that the aerial root if it's developed in water it could be a 
a lot of difference from the root developed in the soil. However, all the monstera, it's just they prefer when they grow up, they still prefer to stay in the soil instead of water. So it's better to put from the young age to put them into the soil. And then it's just been a month's waiting. So this is the background of this little one. As you can tell, so it's been cut twice in the wrong timing whole year. And also it's been planted in perlite. So the rooting system is more like a water rooting system instead of the soil potting system. And it's from a luxury greenhouse to a quite a simple uh, living area. So look at this one, it's just uh, so alive now. It's uh, the back of the stem. It didn't really develop much uh, rotten part. And the scar on the face of over there, it's just stopped there. And there is a little teeny tiny rotten uh, over there. But when it's arrived in my house, it's just uh, didn't really go worse. Also, I found today it's there is actually a little teeny tiny spot here. I feel it. It could be another little area root uh, coming out, and the, the rotten part of the leaf here it's just stopped. So I think it's just overall it's uh, um, I feel so happy for the plant, and also feel so happy for me. So I just want to share with you a bit like the timeline so hopefully if anyone of you has entered the stage that got a, some young plant to your house and worry for it every day could just you know could be just feel more chill after watching my video okay so uh one this little one really coming to my house is actually uh the leaf was like this it's, you can see it's a bit drop it's still alive and I checked that the root is still okay, however just the leaf, it uh, feels like it doesn't really drink enough water. However the pot itself, it's, uh, I think it's got enough water level. I think the main reason why the leaf like this is just because the rooting system hasn't been developed. So for this one, it's also a new cutting. It's a top cutting from one of my uh, four leaf cuttings. So it's only have a one area root, just like this one, the, the time it come to my house. So I settled it in the pot like this, and there was another area root just uh, coming out. It hasn't been really fully coming out, but I can still see it, and it's already there. So I believe this stage, the the stage, you just need to pay more attention to it to make sure there is no rotten part in the root system. And again, this pot is highly recommended if you want to check the root development all the time or the water level all the time or you just worry about your little plant all the time you definitely need a pot like this and uh, for this little one it's been in this way for around two and a half months in my house in winter and after that i started to notice uh still no leaf coming out no area root develop however that time it's feels like it's standing out, trying to stand it out instead of a drop like this. So this happens around like two months. Uh, during the time, yeah, I checked Facebook and forums. A lot of people saying that for the variegated monstera, even in winter, it will develop one leaf a month or uh, one leaf every two months. But for my one, it's just <laughs> super, super slow. I was really worried and frustrated at that time. Uh, but now I just want to let you know, um, you don't really necessarily to compare your little one to other ones. It's just a different plant. It's got a different background and different environment. It could be slower or faster. It's totally just normal case. And just be patient. And also during the um, four months, I never take out the root from the pot. I think that's very, very important for the new ones to settle down. So basically during that four months, it's been just in the uh, container in this way. Every time after I watered, I just keep some, uh, say, some extra water on the bottom. So it gives a chance that 
because the port is really really small it's actually quite hard for the port to retain a lot of um, water also the root system is still quite uh, young so it's very hard for the root to just drink enough water at once so i try to keep in this way so the root could get enough chance to um yeah drink more water for the plant um and it's water just uh, because it's winter and we got a heater in the room i water them uh, once a week uh, to try to uh, keep them uh, just really moisturized uh, so yeah and then just be patient uh, after now is after four months it's eventually just coming out all right so this is my experience of uh, this uh, little plant uh, i believe that this could be the longest and the quietest plant in my old collection hopefully after you see my video you could feel better and stop worry of uh, your uh, plants and just give it them more time and the spring is not far away i believe all of our plants could just grow faster than before all right thanks for watching see you next time bye